All right, guys, I'm out here on Green Bay chasing walleyes and whitefish. Um, if I catch a few whitefish today, I'll do a catch, cook, and clean. Um, I'm gonna do some pickled whitefish and give it a try the other day, and it's pretty damn good, so I'm gonna give it a try. Let's eat at that time. Oh my gosh, don't feel so small. Damn, it's the smallest one yet. <laughs> all right. On the board, that's all that matters. That first fish is the hardest one. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Come on, baby. Just like that, we're all tied up, guys. <laughs> yeah. Damn, he freaking choked it. Holy crap. Oh. Holy crap, he choked it. Look at that thing. Damn, Damn look at that. He freaking choked it. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, damn. <laughs> All the way back in his throat. Oh, he broke it, you bastard. <laughs> Yeah. That's a good one too. Ooh. Come on. Hey, Take the juicer. We at the bottom. Oh, it's a big dude, it's a big one, dude. <laughs> Holy crap. Damn. <laughs> this is the biggest one I ever caught, dude. Holy crap. Damn. <laughs> Whoa. I thought the other one that I caught the other day was big, but dang, look at that thing. Whoa. Alright guys, caught a few white fish today. My buddy got a nice walleye. And man, check out this tank. Oh. Whoa, this is my biggest white fish of the year. Biggest one in a while, so check it out. Um, yeah, couldn't have done it without my calling monster rod, so check out this guys too. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys at home, show you guys how to make some pickled white fish. Take care guys. All right, just got back home from fishing this morning. Did pretty decent. Caught a few white fish, and we're gonna make pickled white fish. Um, I'll leave the ingredients in the description below, so stay tuned, guys. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the brine first. Um, so this brine is for about two pounds of fish, which is about three to four fish. First off, one cup of kosher salt. <coughs> Next, we're gonna need six cups of warm water. One, two, six. So once we have the water and salt together, make sure you kind of stir it up, get that salt really dissolved. Um, you gotta use warm water so the water, the salt dissolves. All right, so make sure all the salt dissolves and the water's pretty clear. 
Um, so after it's all dissolved, go ahead and throw it in the fridge. Um, while it's in the fridge, I'm actually going to go cut up the fish and fillet it and cut it into one inch chunks. Um, but uh, you can link in the details below. I'll put a link to a video of how to fillet the fish. So, Alright guys, I just got done filleting the fish. Um, taking out the Y bone is optional. Um, just cut it into cubes like that. And once you're done with that, make sure the salt and water brine is chilled. And then just go ahead and just dump it right in. Alright, and then you're going to want to put something like a plate or something to weigh it down and just leave it in the fridge overnight for at least 24 hours. So, Alright, so once you leave the fish in the salt water brine for 24 hours in the fridge, go ahead and drain it and we're going to put it in vinegar next. Alright, so once you have it drained, go ahead and put 6 cups of vinegar. One. Four, six. All right, so once you have the vinegar in there, um, just go ahead, throw it back in the fridge for another 12 hours. So while that's in the fridge, we're actually gonna make the pickling solution as well, um, and then throw that in the fridge overnight as well. So um, first thing is, we're gonna need three cups of vinegar. One, two, Next, we're gonna need one and a half cup of water. One and a half. Then we're gonna need six teaspoons of mustard seeds. And then we're gonna need three teaspoons of peppercorn. And then we're gonna need about 18 to 20 allspice berries. And then we're gonna need a cup and a half of sugar. Well, that's all you need for the pickling solution. Now we're actually gonna throw it on the stove and let it simmer and uh, dissolve all the sugar. So go ahead throw it on the stove and keep stirring it um, until all the sugar dissolves and until it's simmering. Alright so it's simmering now you just need it to simmer a little bit. Um, so once it's like this, just go ahead, take it off the burner and just let it cool off. And then we're just gonna throw it in the fridge for another 12 hours and then we'll put it all together. All right guys, so the fish has been sitting in vinegar in the fridge for 12 hours and so has the pickling solution. It's been in there for the fridge for 12 hours as well. Um, now we're gonna get the stuff ready to put into the jars. Um, we're gonna be using quart size jars uh, typically, four fish is about two and a half pounds, um, and I can typically fit it in two or three quart jars, depending how much stuff you put inside of there. Um, so what we're going to need uh, is going to be six cloves of garlic per jar, um, an onion per jar, red onions, and I usually like to put three to four slices of lemon in each jar, um, three to four pieces of bay leaf in each jar. Um, and then here's some of my mom's red Thai chilies that I like to put in there as well. I put about four of them in each and two jalapenos in each jar as well. So go ahead, peel the garlic, cut up the red onions and cut the lemons into slices and the jalapenos into slices. So here we go. We got a nice little smorgasbord of veggies going in. The um, so garlic, red onions, lemon slices, jalapenos, Thai chili peppers, and some bay leaves. So that's all you really need. Um, depending on how much stuff you put in each jar, uh, it's going to fill up the jar pretty quick. So now we can go and grab our fish out of the fridge and drain out the vinegar. Um, you do not have to rinse it. So just drain it and you're ready to start stacking. So. All right, it's looking good already. So, so now here's the fun part. We got to get all this stuff 
into the jar. So um, do that, grab your quart jar. And usually I like to just start with the fish, build the bottom layer. Just go ahead, stack it in there. Throw some garlic in there. And start, just start building. And then I like to actually squeeze the lemons inside of there, get all the juice out. Go ahead, throw some jalapenos in there. All right. And just keep doing it until you fill it to the top, so. have one of these little mortar pole sticks here and just kind of push it down so you can fit more in there. Alright guys, there is jar number one. Leave about like an inch to a half inch of, of space up there just so you can fill it up with the, the pickling solution. <clears throat> so go ahead and just do it, repeat it until you fill up the jar. So. Now that we have all the jars packed, we can start pouring in the pickling solution. All right, so now we just gotta get this brine in there, or this uh, pickling solution in there. Give it a little nice stir. Um, if you don't use up all the liquid, just try to get all the uh, peppercorns, the mustard seed, and all berries um, into there. Um, it's just these these berries and seeds and they just give it all the flavor. So give it a little nice stir. All right, we can start filling these up. Go ahead and just fill it to the top. Um, you will probably need to like shake it here and there just to try to get all the liquid in there. All right, so it looks like they're pretty full, but I actually like just put the caps on. Give it a little, nice little shake here and kind of tap it against the counter uh, just to get all those air bubbles out so you can see if you can get some more in there. So it looks like we got most of the air bubbles out, so now we're just going to fill it to the top. But this time, try to, uh, try to get less liquid and more of all the seeds and peppercorn and uh, all season berries. Close them up, give them a nice shake.
All right, we should be all set here. Um, so typically it takes about three to four days before they're ready to eat. Typically four or five days into it, the fish is gonna be a lot firmer, but not as much flavor. Um, but obviously as long as you wait, it's gonna get more flavor, but the meat will get um, less firm. So uh, just be aware of that. This will keep for about four to six weeks. Um, so, I mean, you got time to eat it. And uh, yeah, um, just every day, just give it a little shake, give it a little shake just to stir it up a little bit. So um, yeah, enjoy. I hope you guys like this video. And uh, if you guys can, please hit that like and subscribe button. So thank you guys.